Successful outcomes using team step skills in subacute care. Mr. Larkin, how's it going? Oh, hi Olivia. Can't complain. I'm getting stronger each day. You sure are. Your resistance is up from yesterday, so don't overdo it. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Oh, is that why it feels so much harder today? I thought I was losing my touch. Does your knee hurt? Did you take your pain meds before coming in? Yeah, I got them. My knee doesn't hurt. I'm okay. Excuse me a minute, Mr. Larkin. Sandy, Mr. Larkin doesn't look so good. He seems weaker today. I just checked his chart, and he's not keeping up the same speeds as usual. And he's breathing harder, even at the slower pace. Okay, I'll get to him as soon as I'm finished with Mrs. Adams. Sandy, I'm concerned. I'm uncomfortable with how hard he's breathing. I think this could be a safety issue. I don't want him to pass out and get hurt. Okay, I'll check on him now. Grab Mrs. Adams' wheelchair. I'll be right back, Mrs. Adams. Olivia, can you grab me the blood pressure cuff? Mr. Larkin, why don't you take a break for a minute? How are you feeling? Are you in any pain? I was feeling tired, but now my chest feels tight. It seems I can't keep up today. Okay, I want to get you off of the bike and onto the mat here. I want you to rest while I take your blood pressure. Mr. Larkin, I'm concerned with your chest tightness. We're going to get some oxygen to help you breathe better, and then we're going to call for some help. Now, it might get a little crowded in here, but don't worry. Things are going to be okay. Olivia, get the O2 and call Gail for the emergency cart. Olivia, I'll call Gail. You go get the O2. Olivia, apply two liters. Apply two liters. Correct. I called Gail. She's on her way with the emergency cart. I also called Lucy to transport Mrs. Adams back to her unit. Great. Thanks, Jay. Yeah. Gail, Mr. Larkin presented with sudden onset shortness of breath, chest pain, and diaphoresis. He was on the recumbent bike. We got him to the mat. We've been monitoring his vitals. BP is 158 over 92, heart rate 132, respiration 30, pulse ox 84% on room air. We applied two liters of O2 via nasal cannula. So, Mr. Larkin, I hear you're not feeling so well. I've been better. My chest is very tight. Sandy, I'm going to take his vitals again. Will you record? Yes. BP is 160 over 90. Respiratory rate is 28. Heart rate is 130. Pulse ox is 87% on two liters. Olivia, please get the non-rebreather from the cart. Jay, please call 911. Tell them we have a possible MI or PE. Olivia, the non rebreather is in the third drawer. Mr. Larkin, I'm concerned that you might be having trouble with your heart or lungs. I think you should go to the hospital to be evaluated. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Remember, Olivia, when using a non rebreather, we need to use at least 10 liters. Yep, got it. I increased it to 10 liters. The paramedics arrive, responding to the 911 call for Mr. Larkin. This is Mr. Larkin. Chief complaint is shortness of breath and chest pain, both of new onset. Mr. Larkin is a 74-year-old male, nine days post-op from a total knee. No prior history of cardiac or lung disease. He is diaphoretic. BP is 160 over 90. Heart rate is 130 and regular. Respiratory rate of 28. Pulse ox was 84% on room air, 87% on two liters nasal cannula. We applied the non-rebreather. Pulse ox is now 92%. We called 911 to have him transferred to the hospital to rule out possible MI or PE. His attending physician and family have both been notified. Okay, got it from here. Let's take a minute to debrief. First off, 
Great job, everyone. Now, what went well? What can we improve? It was really helpful that Gail told me where to locate the Nam rebreather and confirmed how many liters of O2. I was nervous since we never really use it. Maybe we can institute regular trainings to prepare for situations like this. Great idea. I'm glad you used CUSS to express your concerns about Mr. Larkin with me. Without it, I don't think I would have sensed the urgency of the situation. It was good that you asked me to bring the emergency cart. We were able to get Mr. Larkin started on the correct oxygen without losing any time. You're right. And Jay, you were also helpful in not losing time. Being aware of the urgency of the situation and offering to call Gail was really good task assistance.